What is up Android fans? It is Eric for mobile and today guys first of all really quick I want to apologize. It's been a little while since I've posted a video uh, of a ROM review or anything like that uh, ROM development has been a little bit slow on the LG G3 But as you can probably tell from the title guys I am crazy excited today because we have finally got stock Android on the LG G3 in the form of cyanogen mod 11 so here it is guys let's jump right into it um like i said i am stupid excited about this because i am a big fan of aosp or stock android um so let's get right into it first of all just so you guys can see that this is not just a launcher or skins or whatever we'll jump right down into about phone as you can see right here android version 4.4.4 and it is cyanogen mod so that's CM11 right there. Now this wasn't actually published by Cyanogen Mod themselves, so it is an unofficial build as you can see right there. But for all intents and purposes, this is Cyanogen Mod in all of its glory. So uh, right off the bat, I just want to get into the things that I look for when I'm installing a ROM. So that would be things like battery life, stability, and performance. Um, I can tell you real quick though, I've only been running this ROM for a few hours today, so I don't have a real great feel on the battery performance other than to say that um, stock Android ROMs have been known to give you better battery life than the stock skinned ROMs. Um, that can't be said for 100% of ROMs, but um, I have you know, no doubt or fears that I, you're going to get really great battery life with this ROM. Um, next up, performance. And I can tell you right now, guys, that stock Android just it just works better than the skinned ROMs. They're first of all, they're a lot smaller files. Um, everything is just snappy. Uh, I couldn't be more pleased. That's one of the things that draws me to stock Android so much is that it's fast, it's fluid, and everything just works really well. So so far. Uh, in my few hours of usage, I can tell you that the performance is just top notch. I haven't had any stutters, um, any you know lags in opening up apps, anything like that. I mean, everything just jumps in and is quick like you would expect. And lastly, of the three things I look for in ROMs is stability. Now, I've actually been really su uh, surprised on this front because this is the first build of Cyanogen Mod that's available for the LG G3. So you can almost think of it like an alpha, um, not even a beta yet as an alpha. And I mean, everything just works great. I haven't had any freezes. I haven't had any reboots. Now, like I said, I've only been running this for a few hours. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. I haven't had a whole lot of time to run it and work through any quirks that might come up. But I can tell you right now that um, so far there just haven't been any. It's real stable. Um, and I can tell you right now that this is going to be my daily driver for this foreseeable future until anything bigger and better comes along and I'm not too sure that that's going to happen. So that's how pleased I have been with the stability of this ROM. Now really quick, I want to get some of the things out of the way that don't work because um, there are a couple. For me they're minor so um, hopefully they're not deal breakers for you. Uh, first of all, the Bluetooth is kind of uh, wonky. I guess you cannot make uh, voice calls with the Bluetooth. For me, it's not a big deal because I don't have it in my car. I don't use a headset, so it's a non-issue for me. But if you are a heavy Bluetooth user, um, you may need to wait for a further update where that can get addressed. Uh, next, uh, the camera does work perfectly. Everything in the camera functions as it should, but Cyanogen Mod does not support 4K video, so you will not be able to use the 4K capabilities of the LG G3. Uh, that is kind of a bummer, but the LG um, G3 camera is so good that, I mean, you could really get by without 4K video and hardly be able to tell. I think if you put them side by side and ask a stranger to look at them, uh, you know, there'd be hardly any difference. So that's not a real big deal. Um, and lastly, and it's um, only a hit and miss kind of thing is the, is the um, GPS can be a little bit crazy. It can take a little bit long to lock on. Um, mine locked on fairly quickly. I came up with my location. So um, I think it can kind of be hit and miss depending on your device, whether or not your GPS wants to work very well. But like I said, for me, it came on just fine. Next, let's jump into some of the features of Cyanogen Mod and what makes it unique from, say, a skinned um, LG uh, ROM. So if we get into the settings here, 
on top of stock Android, Sanjay Mod has added some custom things. Um, they've added the ability to go into your lock screen and customize. Um, you can add shortcuts to the ring, so when you press the ring to unlock the phone, you can add other shortcuts like a messaging, a browser, a camera, things like that. I typically don't use them, so I've disabled it by um, hitting this little reset up here. But um, when you first flash the ROM, it will have some in here by default. You can change them, take them out, anything like that. It's kind of a cool touch. You can add whether or not there's a camera widget on the lock screen. So when you turn your device on and turn it back on down here, you get this little camera icon, slide it over, and you can get right into your camera. Um, so that's what that one does. I leave it on because it's just nice to have. Um, you can change the, you know, the clock widget. Um, you can say, allow all the widgets on your phone to be able to be displayed on the lock screen. This is a good touch because stock, you can only, um, there's only so many widgets that are supported on the lock screen. This lets you do any of them, which is nice. Um, next of all, and something I really, really like is the theme engine. So this allows you to add a theme on top of the stock Android to give it any look and feel that you want. Now, I'm going to show you a theme at the end of this video, um, but for time's sake, we'll just jump into that in a minute, but themes are really cool. You can change some things in the status bar, like the style of the clock, whether it's centered or stays over here to the right. I like to leave it on the right. Um, you can choose um, what kind of battery you have, uh, the icon. So by default, it's a circle. You can see up there, there's a circle. I kind of like just the stock look of the regular portrait icon, so I usually change it back to that. Um, you can change the status of the um, signal icon, stuff like that. And then if you have a lot of notifications saved from Gmail, instead of having a bunch of Gmail icons across the top, you can have it put a um, numbered counter on top of the icon. So if you have three emails, it'll, sell, it'll show like the Gmail icon with a three over it. So you know you have three emails, that's pretty cool. Um, next up is the notification drawer. Now in the notification drawer, um, you can jump into your quick settings, which is gonna be this bad boy right here. And you can rearrange and take away and add to these tiles. You can add any uh, of the ones you want. I've left it stock, so this is how it looks when you first get it. But you can, like I said, rearrange them, take away from these, add other tiles. Um, so that's a nice touch. Also, um, you can change the sound mods. You can change um, what dynamic tiles there are. So for instance, if you set an alarm, it'll add a quick tile of an alarm which the, with the time that you've set it for. So it won't show until you set an alarm. So that's an, a, a dynamic tile. And there's a few of those you can use and um, enable and disable. So those are pretty cool. Um, after that, you've got most of, mostly um, you know all the stock options you would have on Android, the sound settings, the display settings, um, battery and your apps, all of that stuff. Um, something that I like to do is enable the developer options. You do that by going into the about phone and you go down to uh, your build number and you tap on it like seven times and it'll say you are now a developer. You come back out and I like to go into developer options and come down here and change the speed of all the animations. Um, by default, this is set to 1.0. I like to half it, do it by 0.5. And what that does is by turning up the speed on all the animations, the phone just feels a little bit faster. It gets in and out of menus quicker. The animations just happen faster, so the phone feels quicker. So that's a cool feature that I like to have. Um, that's just a really quick run through of some of the things in Cyanogen Mod. This actually doesn't have all of the many features that Cyanogen Mod offers, because like I said, this is an early build of it and it's not an official release from Cyanogen Mod themselves. So I'm sure as this gets updated, more things will be added into the ROM. But so far, this is a really, really, really good start for the LG G3. We finally got stock Android running on this phone and it's an absolute beast. It's a, it's a great performer and definitely worthy of being a daily driver. Um, now, like I said, Let's jump back into the settings. And lastly, I wanna show you how the themes work. I've already downloaded a theme. If you go into the Play Store here, and you can do a search, and uh, just do something like, I've already searched it in here before, but if you do like um, lollipop theme, just do a search for lollipop theme and in the apps. If you scroll down, there's this one called Ideal L Lollipop Theme. I've downloaded this one. And the reason I want to show you this one is because I cannot wait for Lollipop to come out on this phone. So this theme basically um, makes your phone look like it's Android 5.0. It's really, really cool. So how you do that is here in the settings, I've just gone under the themes menu, click it on it there. 
you can change individual parts of the theme with all these options. So what you do is you, you click on the theme pack. Now the hollow is the default, like it says here, that's just what Sun Engine Mod looks like. Anything you've downloaded will appear below. So there's that ideal L lollipop. If you click on it, it'll show you everything that um, will be themed in this um, app. So it'll theme the style of your ROM, the wallpaper, the fonts, the icons, the boot animation, the ringtones, the notifications, and the alarms. So basically it, it themes just about every um, part of your app that you could think of, or your ROM I mean. You just select them all, anything that you want to theme, and you hit update. It just takes a couple seconds. It'll say applying here at the bottom. When it's done, um, you are now themed like Lollipop. So right off the bat, if you look, it changed all the icons, so these are more cohesive with what the Lollipop icons look like. I mean, some of them are kind of customized by the developer, but nonetheless, they look pretty much the same. The thing that I really, really like is it changed the nav bar buttons down here to be the Lollipop style. I think those are sexy. Definitely something that I really, really like. Another really cool thing is it totally themes the status bar, so it's now fully Lollipop themed. So you can see there, I mean, it's it's not a full tray that folds down anymore. When you have notifications, they'll just show up as the white bars. In fact, I'll just show you something like that right now. I'll just download uh, one of these themes. And you can see what it looks like in the status bar once it starts. And once the app starts installing, you can see, you know, it's got that white background just like it does in Lollipop. And then boom, when it's done, you know, that's what it looks like. This is a really sharp look. When you jump over to quick settings, it kind of looks basically stock, but they've added a more of a gray background. Um, and, you know, overall, guys, this theme is just really, really great. The dialer is going to be um, themed to be like Lollipop. So, you know, there's the dialer. Um, you know, it's just a really, really great feel for the phone. And it's something that's going to tide me over until we get an official Android 5.0 ROM for the LG G3. Anyways, guys, that's it for this ROM. I'm going to go play with my phone because I'm absolutely loving it. It's my daily driver. If you're looking for a stable, fast ROM stock Android, then this is definitely the one for you. I'll leave a link in the download or I'll leave a link in the uh, description uh, for this ROM. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, uh, definitely subscribe. I really appreciate you guys checking out my videos and I'll see you on the next one.